Hey everyone, welcome back. So we are starting off in the garage. I'm just giving you a close up, a good look of the shelf that I'm going to be rumbling through and really just organizing this, getting rid of clutter, getting rid of unnecessary things, just, you know, stuff that you start piling up in the garage just throwing things in containers and, and things like that. So I went through all of these shelves. I'm going to go through every single container and I'm really just going to, like I said, declutter and purge everything in here that we don't use. Um, a lot of like the chemicals, I have um, a little basket that has like chemicals and things like that, that, you know, like if, I just went through everything and I was like, listen, if I haven't used this in the last six months, I'm getting rid of it. So that is exactly what I did. And this just felt super, super good to get done. I am so happy with this. I'm really glad that I got this done. We today it was 65 degrees. So it was definitely the hottest day of the week and um yeah so i just i really wanted to get this done so i hope you are doing well i hope you're cleaning right alongside with me let's go ahead and jump into this <laughs> container here. I love these containers. I know I've mentioned this quite a few times, but if you're new here, hey, I get these from the Dollar Tree. I highly recommend these. They have the square ones and they also have like flat rectangular ones. I always pick them up whenever I go there. They're super convenient for everything. Literally, I, I use it for everything, um, mainly like my son's toys and things, you know, just like little, little toys and things that just, you know, you can just throw in a container and have just it. It's nice and organized. So I got rid of this yellow one because it was super, super cracked. I do believe I got that yellow one from the Dollar Tree also, but I just use the, um, the top of the recycle bin. I kind of just use this as a table because I was just going back and forth and back and forth. So I would grab a container. I took everything out of the container and just looked through everything. And like I said, if we hadn't used it, I just, I got rid of it. These zip ties here, we got a bunch of them from the Dollar Tree that we really don't use. How he actually use this for his car? He got into an accident um, a while back, like a couple years ago now, and we still haven't gotten his car fixed. Um, that's something that we want to do down the line, you know, um, our cars are old and everything and so like they're not like brand new cars they're they're paid off um we are gonna you know drive those things to the wheel fall off but yeah so he kind of just used that as like a temporary fix and so we have like an abundance of them so i was like okay trash them those little rubber like rope things and um ties i got rid of those too we've had those for a couple of years just chilling and i was like no i'm getting rid of it so yeah we are doing the daggone thing Waiting for a sign Oh, 
the clear container on the left is like tools and bits and everything. And then the blue bin are tools also, but like bigger tools, you know, I'm going to show you just a close up on the inside here. So I got everything out and these are just like longer tools that are, you know, bigger. So obviously they need a bigger container. So I put everything back that I wasn't trashing. And then, um, oh my goodness, hubby has like, so mainly a lot of his tools are in this, like I said, that clear container. And he has so many like container. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five. And that, that wasn't even all of them of drill bits. I'm like, how many of these do you need? <laughs> I even asked him like when he came home from work, I was like, I was thinking about tossing some of those. He's like, I'm, I'm so happy that you didn't because I need them and I use them. Um, but I was like, there's so many. I actually went through. I mean, I wasn't really going to toss them out, but cause I did go through them. I opened them and I was like, okay. The like the bits are different, but he had like, like I said, like five, six, I think seven of those containers. And then I also found like another bag that had bits in it. I'm like, this drives me nuts. Like just if you're going to use something, put it back. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But anyways, so now I am just getting, this is um, my soul and this is the pearl light that I just dumped in. And then the other bag is my orchid bark. So I just dumped the rest of those two in there and then I need to get some regular potting soil, but that is the mixture that I use. Um, it works very, very well if you're interested very well draining and good for your plants. So, um, yeah, so I just, I poured everything in there. Like I said, I'm just condensing everything down this, that container that I just threw away. That's like, um, fencing gloss or something. Um, that's been there since we moved in here. So years, literally years. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't know why I'm, I'm holding on to stuff, you know, but that's just something that I have been doing for the last couple of years is just really getting rid of things and decluttering and organizing and having less and getting rid of things that I'm just like, okay, maybe I'll use this. Like I would hold on to things and be like, maybe, you know, or if, 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 or when I can use this and I'm just, I'm no longer doing that. It just makes me feel good to have less, to work with less. I have to worry less and that just makes me feel really good. So yeah, we are moving along here. I almost have everything pretty much off the shelves, actually. Um, I moved all the tall things that, you know, couldn't fit on the shelves on top. And then I was just working my way down. show you here this these are the couple of tools that I'm going to be getting rid of um and I was just going along the the um I don't even know what the, like the strip the stripping we actually put this in and these this works really really well for your tools to keep them nice and organized and hung up but I was doing this as I was because I made son some lunch and so I was just going back and forth. And then also today was trash day. So I wanted to make sure I got this everything out. I started early in the morning and I got that accomplished. So that was good. So I got two full bags, um, you know, for the trash. And like I said, I got that out and yeah, it was just, I, I felt super, super good and relieved, you know, getting everything out of the way. So we weren't like holding on to everything. And another thing, so the, the green bike that you see hung up, we actually have three bikes. We're going to get rid of that one the pedal is um, broken on that one and so I'm going to be donating that and then the tools that I showed you earlier um, you will see like the the bush cutter I actually got that from a garage sale for like 15 bucks and it worked really really well the only reason why we bought I bought that is because we used to have a bush in front of the house but we have since removed that we got rid of that ourselves and so we no longer needed that um, that bush hedge cutter so hubby is going to um, see if um, my father-in-law wants that but if not I'll just be donating that to Goodwill but the the like the the scissors we had like four of those I'm like unnecessary so I'm going to be donating those also but 
um, that blue bin was so daggone heavy. I like struggled. I was like talking to myself throughout the whole time <laughs> while I was organizing. Do you guys do that? Like I, I just be like, okay, what do I got to do next? I got to do this. I got to do that. But anyways, yeah. So moving along. Stay away, stay away. I can't help but feeling this is meant to be. Oh, I can't stay away, stay away. I just keep on moving till you're next to me. to get son his jeep here he absolutely loves it but he gets scared um to like turn it on you know and we have like taken him out on it and i've actually uh drove it you know just to show him like it's okay like there's nothing to be scared of but it does kind of make um a loud noise when you turn the gas on and so i think and it kind of like jerks you know and so i think like that is what he's kind of scared of and he he has um he's he's wrote you know wrote it before but yeah so i was like trying to get him to go you know um ride this while we were out here you know just take advantage of the day the nice day but this oil stain that's here hubby did he just recently changed his oil and um he needs to buy a part for his car that was one of the things that um kind of got messed up on his car when he got into the accident and so once he gets the part for that he this will no longer like it won't leak anymore but this is just like our temporary fix we just put a piece of cardboard on here until he orders that part and then he's going to get that nice and fixed up but yeah we are almost done here i'm just getting everything nice and swept up these two bags here is the um, weed and feed and also turf builder that we use during the summer I'm just gonna be moving those to the shed and yeah like I said getting everything nice and swept up and cleaned and just feeling so good I just I can't stop saying that it just felt really really good to get this done it always feels good to get things done around the house hello emotions hello again is every ocean colors red? I know my circles, I know my name Another sequel is on the way show you here a before and after everything is nice and neat and organized and in its spot and there's room on the shelves the tools are nice and organized everything is decluttered and I am just really really loving this one thing that we did when we moved in we did paint the garage um, white which I love like I 
I'm really happy that we we did that. But yeah, it just makes it feel, you know, nice and fresh and clean in there. So I let's see the remainder of the day. I got some dinner ready and we actually barbecued. We barbecued some burgers. They came out really good. And then I got my good workout in. I did a mile on the tread climber and was just feeling good. So the next morning, um, this is the next day. I'm going to get these dishes nice and cleaned. I did have quite a few dishes to do from yesterday. And so let's go ahead and get these done. what the heck it is about tape my baby loves him some tape like <laughs> he'll you know we will like cut um he has like notebooks and things like that you know to draw and everything in and so like he'll be like cut let's cut the paper so like you know i'll cut the paper for him and then he likes to get some tape and tape it back together and i don't know what it is like i've gotten him we've gotten him like stickers and he has this like little thing where um it's like a scenery thing you know and it's like dinosaurs you can like peel the stickers and put it on there and do you know different sorts of um sceneries and things like that but and, and he does play with that but i don't know what it is about the tape like he just loves him some tape and he'll come back and ask for another piece and i was like all right buddy one more piece and that's it. So I gave him one more piece and then we put the tape up. But I just think it's so funny.
remember how I was mentioning that I wanted to get a new area rug for the front room. Well, I found one. <laughs> Y'all, these $400. I said, what in? No, like that's so much money for a rug. And I, I saw, so I saw the pictures online, you know, and it does look like a very, very big rug. I didn't see the dimensions. So I think I might just go to the store to see how big it actually is because it does look huge compared to the other ones. And I don't want something that's like extra, extra huge. Like the one that the furry, the um, shag rug is really big and it actually goes underneath the couch and I don't want that for, for the new rug. Like I want a smaller rug. So if it is too big, it's going to be a bummer because the colors are beautiful. Um, but $400 for a rug, like I just cannot justify spending that much money on a rug, y'all. Like I am I am frugal. I really am. And um, that's just, that's a lot of money. Um, but We'll, I mean, we'll see. Hopefully I can find, I don't know, maybe they'll have like another one that has like the same type of color scheme that's like smaller and not as much money, I'm hoping. But um, but yeah, so as far as the spare bedroom goes, we did narrow it down to the, um, the day bed that I think that we're going to get. So, you know, hopefully in due time that will come soon. But yeah, I was just like, man, that's so much money for a rug. Like, I just, I can't get over how expensive just everything is. You know what I mean? Like food, everything. Like I, I just hope that we get some relief because it's just, I don't know, it's crazy. Anyways, so I got the dishes nice and done and I did actually wash a couple of, of pots off camera. I was, um, I got sun some breakfast and everything. So we got all that done and I was kind of going back and forth, but yeah, the sink is nice and cleaned and just feeling good. So we are going to move on to the, uh, the stove. Um, I had some, like some of the, what was I making? I, the potato soup, it actually boiled over and I got like some water stains on here. So I'm going to get this nice and cleaned up. I like to go in with a razor blade and hold it at a, uh, 45 yeah 45 degree angle and kind of just get the hard stuff up first so then that way I'm not like you know breaking my hands trying to scrub it off and so that's just what I'm doing here
are nice and cleaned and organized. Thank you so much for being here. I will definitely see you soon. Bye.